This is it. Championship will be determined tonight. This ain't the amateurs no more. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. This is the first step up, kid. Use your feet. Keep your hands up. It's all about That's what champions do. They get back up. here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The site. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. Patterson's a real treat for these fans, a pure knockout artist. Every single fight of his career has ended with his hand raised and his opponent down and out. Every one of his fights is like a fire throw. I mean, the belt goes off, and bang, he's rushing to that fire. What to start the fight? Two snapping jabs by Patterson. Nice block by George. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Scored well up. George is hurt. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and here comes the first challenge of his night. Down he goes. George's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. And that's what... And yet another big shot comes in. He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young brothers out. It is raining punches here. to perfection the power came early a first round knockout victory he defends his title for teddy atlas I'm
joining us on this grand spectacular pay-per-view stage. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my partner, Kenny Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the... And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Patterson feeling pressure, and he has to be feeling the pressure because all the talk all week has been about the knockout streak. He's won every fight by knockout. Well, there's been a little other talk, too. They've been talking about how the national anthem is usually longer than his fight. <laughs> Doubling up the jab by Patterson. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Nothing there on the punch by Patterson. Thompson's hurt bad by a right hand. Solid. Oh, he goes down hard, and now he's got a real problem ahead of him. Plenty of time for his opponent to jump on him. Thompson's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Good job on the two-punch combo by Patterson. Patterson swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Solid left hand to the head. Patterson is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck. And wow! And for the second time tonight, he goes down. is over. Patterson's come up big here. A knockout victory in the opening stand. to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. I wonder if the knockout streak will continue here. Patterson's been able to do it throughout his whole career. Knockout man after man, they line up in front of him. He wastes no time. He goes right out of that corner with one thing in mind. Get rid of that guy. 
And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Little volume punching to the body. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. Did you see that? Picture perfect combination. And he is four. Well, the old times would say you can hit a guy with two. Why hit him with one? So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead. Look at that. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. This fight is over. Patterson celebrating big time. It does not get better than that. First round. Just off the vent. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12 rounder. The excitement in the air is palpable, and the fans have good reason to be. Patterson won every single one of his fights by knockout. Yeah, and I think the anticipation in the air is twofold. One is, are they going to see another knockout? The other is, what? What a big shot. Big headshot puts him down. Many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember. Solid. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time now? some way he's going to continue on here and if he's going to stay in this fight now he's got to avoid his opponent like the black plague what? nice work a big big shot he just scored with well we've seen mike tyson in a spot like this before remember he once rose up off the canvas against buster douglas only to be floored again can he do it here The fight is over. Patterson's power carries the day. A first round knockout victory. And he is still the champ. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying join us again, Rich.
opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Mike Tyson's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Patterson's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and punches. The combination lands. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. An accurate left by Patterson. Tyson's opponent tonight is known for his infighting. He better watch out against Prime Mike. Yeah, well, Tyson is made for fighting, at least theoretically. You know, he's got short arms, he's short of stature, he's very powerful, he's explosive on the inside. But sometimes Tyson will put his hands behind you, and if you don't work, he will work. It's going to be up to his opponent to exploit that. One, two jabs up top. He returned fire right there, and it worked after being rocked. Now, he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skill. Oh, and there you go. He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Okay. One, two. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Double jab upstairs. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Solid uppercut. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Patterson. And we come to the end of the round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Mike Tyson's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we could say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that, but the fighter must be steady, the same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. You need to move your head. Patterson, corner, did a good job during those 60 seconds between rounds. You can tell that he's a fresh fighter, not the fighter that was clearly dazed in the last round. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Fires right back at him. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. He gets off with a combination up top. Carries that punch intended for the head. A well-placed left hand up top. Patterson showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. Big shot there. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Landing two jabs by Patterson. Little head hunting with the left. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Very accurate two-punch combo by Patterson. Keep your hands, all right? You have to keep your hands up. 
we go. Nah, I'm gonna start throwing in ball. Tyson's got a good relationship with his corner, but now it needs to pay off. He was down in that last round. They need to get to work. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Patterson. Nice work with the overhand right. Nowhere close that punch by Patterson. Locks that punch. Patterson's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Tyson's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Patterson's jab lands well. Combo lands to the head. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Well targeted right hand by Mike Tyson. Oh, what an uppercut. Good combination to the head. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Mike Tyson's clinching a lot, Teddy, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I mean, you've got to wonder if the referee's going to start coming in there, give him a few warnings right now. But he's got to get himself together. That's what he's trying to do. And then hopefully he can find the way. Solid right hand land. Oh! Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. round comes to an end. Breathe deep breath. Breathe through your mouth. Good, good. Okay, very nice. How you feeling? Good? Good. Okay, you need to finish with the hook. Finish with the... As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, and it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was just saying, Mike Tyson's legs look shaky. He, and bang, and away he goes. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. Three, four, five, six. The ref is stopping this fight. Patterson's opponent is for a knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive.
I'm Joe Tessitore. So glad you're with us as we welcome you to the New York. <laughs> Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Patterson, it's a real treat for these fans. A pure knockout artist. Every single fight of his career has ended with his hand raised and his opponent down and out. Now, every one of his fights is like a fire drill. I mean, the bell goes off, bang, he's rushing to that fire. What's the soft spot? Is this the type of stylistic matchup, Teddy, a high stamina guy against the power puncher that many would describe as, oh, that's a little dangerous for the big favorite, for the big power puncher. That can be a trap. Yeah, it can be a trap because anytime you have a guy with high endurance, that means mentally he's fit. That means he probably has a good chin if he's been rounds before. And the power might not be enough. Targeting the left hand to the body. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. You can tell he's just looking to survive. George is holding his opponent right now, just hugging him. Yeah, he's doing what he has to do. Look, they work on this in the gym, Joe. We look at all the things where you work on the pads, you work on the heavy bags, putting punches together, but you work on this, on moments when you're in trouble and when you have to survive. Good block there by George. Crashes home with the uppercut. Scores with the uppercut. One more time. Patterson's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Turns over that hook, and he does damage upstairs. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Incredible jab by Patterson. Patterson's left, landing well. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. End of round one. Patterson's commitment to being judicious and effective really worked out well there. The punch stats prove it. You have to keep moving forwards, all right? Get close and throw some punches to the body. Here we go. Round two is underway. You got this one. Again to the melon. Well off the mark by Patterson. Patterson impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Landed a good, solid combination. George is jacked up by an uppercut. What the body? Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Step to the side and then lands the counter. Yeah, disappear on him and then all of a sudden appear on him. Look at that combination by Patterson. Patterson's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. See, that's what you want. Oh, that's got to hurt. He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You've got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. How about that left hand? That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Patterson. Patterson's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. And that's the end of round two. George has got to come up with something here because his eye just closed. Yeah, well, what he has to do is his opponent knows what he has to do. His opponent has to throw punches from that side. 
what he has to do is take that side away from him, position himself in the ring where those punches are not available to his opponent. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. George is tagged. Patterson's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. George is feeling the effects now of that hook. That's a nice right hand that time by Patterson. Patterson's left working well that time. You know, he laid it out to us when we talked to him before the fight. He says, hey, I want to do my damage on the inside. But it's how he's getting to the inside that's really been the payoff tonight, and that's with the jab. Yeah, exactly. Having a jab is like having a credit card. You can buy a lot of things. It's bought him the ability to get inside and go to work. Jab. Hey, keep your hands up. Little double jab to the head. Scores up top with a left. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by George. Nice two-punch combo by Patterson. Flush right hand to the head. That is a sharp uppercut by George. That's a solid right hand by Patterson. Patterson's left now getting into the mix. And the round comes to an end. You're doing great. Keep the pressure on him. Keep him. Keep on him. Start of round number four, a chance for us to look at Teddy's scorecard. He's trailing three rounds to zip Teddy. People will be looking at this and say, yeah, but he's throwing punches. But Teddy, it's about throwing clean, effective punches. Exactly. And it's about not standing in front of your opponent after you punch and waiting for the receipt. Patterson showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Good double jab by Patterson. Zones in on that overhand right. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Listen, big shot. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? George is able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move, because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Patterson's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. George is stunned, and he cannot block this onslaught. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the bell to end that round gets him out of danger. But, Teddy, my concern is what is he even going to look like when the next round starts? Well, that's the thing. The corner's going to have to take care of that, get some ice on him. And also, they're going to have to think, do they want him to go back out? Patterson's fighting real smart here on the outside. 
Here he comes, nice and aggressive, red hot going after it, much the way he finished up the action the last time we saw him in the last round. Hey, look, if you're a fisherman and the fisher was good in a certain spot, <laughs> you can't wait to get the boat out to that same spot. He's rolling right out there. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah. George is crushed by a big left hand. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Keep moving. George is proving to be elusive. Good job with another left hand. Good exchange, he fires back. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him. There it is! Perfectly executed combination. George is down. He's going to have to beat the count. the fight. Patterson's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. Well, he wanted to hear those words, and he did. And still the champ defending his title. For my partner, Teddy... Thank <laughs> you.